Hello, can I help you? No, you can't. I hoped so much that it would work out. I thought that the therapy would take effect this time. But the doctor said that there are no miracles. I'm never going to have children. Lady, forgive me, for God's sakes. Perhaps it's none of my business, but miracles do happen, you know. No. Not with me. I have no chance of... No chance. You understand? Hang in there, please, okay? You're young and beautiful. Perhaps your life is only beginning. So what do I do now? You never know what surprise might come. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... Oh, but it's all right. Do you need a ride? No, thank you. Sorry. Uh -oh. Day You Stopped Waiting, Part 1. On behalf of the team, I would like to congratulate the birthday girl. Olya, we're happy that such a smart and charming girl works with us. <laughs> You're a real star. Keep shining and blossoming. Congratulations. Thank for you. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you'll please the management of our company with the new and creative ideas. Happy birthday. Thank you, sir. And now the present. Hooray! And the present is, it's, it's a lamp. <laughs> Here we go. Hooray! Hooray, thank you. Hooray! Way to go. All right. All right. Hello, honey. What's the news? Sonia, do I hear you crying? No, Sonetchka, don't cry, please. I'm already on my way home. said that if this therapy failed to help me, then nothing would help me. There is no chance. It's not Hold destined. Hold on, honey. What does it mean, it's not destined? Who knows? Perhaps that doctor is mistaken, too. It's... It's so cruel. It's unfair. Do I deserve this? We, Do we deserve this? We don't deserve this. No one does. I thought that the therapy would, would have its effect this time. We can't do it. I'm sorry. Let's cancel the guests for Saturday. It's not the right time. Hmm? Let them come. We could use the distraction.
Yes? <laughs> yes, Alesha, I know that. You've left your shopping list in the hall. <laughs> All right, memorize it then. Good tomatoes, good eggplants, greenery, walnuts, and some fruit. Yes, I got it. You want pineapples for champagne? Sound good? No, better buy some strawberries. All right, bye. So long. Yeah. A few more? That's enough. Hmm. Yeah, all right. This is from me to you. <laughs> okay, thanks. How much do I owe you? Would you like some strawberries? They're sweet. Mm -hmm. You know your colleagues usually say sweet as a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want some? Strawberries or some kisses? <laughs> it's difficult to say no to such a pretty girl. I'll take a couple of boxes. Not this one. Uh, the, that, yeah, that one. That one, that one too, yeah. Yeah, and those two. Mm -hmm, yeah, those two. Mm -hmm. Strawberries, yeah. The, the sweet strawberries. Yeah, 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 weigh them, weigh them for me. Did, did, did you hear me? Hmm. Thank you. All right, let's have some champagne. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything is delicious. Thank you. Oh, the hot oh, meal is coming beautiful. now. Beautiful. This is wonderful. Uh -huh. It seems as if it all happened yesterday. The registry office, Sonia in her white veil. Hush, the drunken best well, man. Well, <clears throat> I tried hard because I was happy for my friends. Then you hit on the registry officer. Good that she <laughs> missed it on you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, your lovely stories are enough for me. <laughs> oh, damn, it's been 16 years. And I don't even remember you without one another. Anya and I have seven years to catch up to you. Well, but you keep yourself busy in the process. Oh, that's right, Lesha. I'm like a baby-producing machine for him. Oh, come on, why are you complaining, Anya? You'll recover after Danya, and we'll try it once again. I want a daughter so much. Pasha, we're not here to discuss your desires. Our friends have been together for 16 years, by the way. May God help you live 10 times longer. <laughs> you think we'll make it? Just keep on trying. You've lived in perfect harmony for so many years. Here's to you guys. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Oh, come on, kiss now. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, kiss now. Kiss, kiss now. now. Kiss, kiss now. now. Kiss, kiss now. now. Look at them, they're <laughs> cheating, huh? It was better at the wedding. Here's to you. <laughs> it's good that you've weaned Danya. At least I can feed a baby. It isn't over till it's over. You'll be nursing your own soon enough. No, it won't happen now. Why are your thoughts so gloomy today? You have to keep trying. But there's no use trying if it's not destined. You've already given birth to three children. Oh, frankly speaking, it's not a house, it's a bona fide home. And it feels like that I have not three, but four children including Pasha, and he wants a girl. Can you imagine? <laughs> You're happy. Well, yeah, I'm happy. That's all right, you'll be happy soon too. That's for sure, I can promise you that. <laughs> for now, you'll be feeding your godson. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Well, how was your day, then? I'm tired, as always. You don't look tired. What do you mean? 
I saw how tired you were. Laughing with men all day, enjoying yourself. What did you do with them? With whom? I saw everything. I'd go to the market every single day to watch you work. You'd better find work instead. You keep drinking and walking around the city all day. What an ungrateful bitch you are. I took you with your child, and you, you keep wagging your tail. Another one would be happy, and your daughter is the same. Keep away from Susha. You're nobody to her. Remember, Galia, if I see you with someone again, you'll regret it. You know me. You're threatening me? You eat and drink at my expense? Are you for real? Ugh. Come on, who's the faster? <laughs> you want some beer? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Why are you laughing? Huh? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah we're having fun. <laughs> oh, are you an idiot or what? Let's, Let's get, get out, out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, run. <laughs> Susha, why are you stopping? What are you doing? Come on, come on. Come on, come what on. What are you doing? Let's go, let's come go. On, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> It was a nice party, right? These 16 years passed like a single day. <laughs> I'll never forgive you. What? For having the abortion. I should have had that baby. Sonia, don't start, please. The only thing I have left is watching someone else's children grow. Sonia, are you starting again? You remember how we lived after the university? We were sleeping on folding beds in our friend's flats. Did you want our baby to have that life? We would have made it. But you hesitated and I followed, and now we have everything but no baby. I'm so sick of listening to your rebukes. A woman should be beat. This is rule one. She becomes meek at once. And then everything's fine. Hey, what are you doing? Get out and never set your foot in here again. Dahlia, don't be stupid. Don't make me angry. I can't control myself. Get out of here or I'm calling the police. You bitch. You're such a creep. You'll regret it. You'll regret it, but it'll be too late.
Sonia, please forgive me. Let's make peace. Sonia, look at me, please. Sonia, honey. Sonia. This is for you. Where did you get it? It's a gift. A gift? Take it back to where it was. I see Petya is showing his love again. Wash your hands and let's eat. Eat with your boyfriend. I've kicked him out. Oh, that's great. At least the two of us can live normally. I'm sick of your men. Where do you even find them? They're all freaks. I see you're happy that nothing's going well for me. You better watch yourself. When did you go to school? Now you remember. You decided to switch from Petia to me? You didn't care about me before. How are you talking to your mother, huh? Take a look at yourself. Your head is a mess, your face is all pierced, and you've got those tattoos. Aren't you ashamed? No, I'm not. I live my life as I want. You bring home men and I don't say anything. Yes, I'm trying to give our family some type of support. There's your support, under your eye. I thought I'd give birth to a girl and she would help me. But you're like a stranger. You don't respect your mother. I didn't ask to be born. Take it. I want a baby very much, but I can't do it in a natural way. Well, there are other ways, undoubtedly. But you didn't want to hear about those ways, and they helped lots of women. Are you talking about IVF? IVF and surrogate maternity. We can't afford surrogate maternity. The prices are comparable to the cost of an apartment. Yes, this is an expensive pleasure, and there's a moral aspect. Let's try IVF, then. It's not a cheap way either, but many people can manage to afford it. Tell me, can we get on the list for a discount? You can do it, but you're going to have to wait for a long time. The Ministry of Health gives some allowances, but there are only a few. Our waiting list has 200 people. Wouldn't it be easier for you to pay for IVF? No, but it's very expensive. All right, I can put you on the list. But I have to warn you, expecting the allowance can take years. Are you ready to wait? I will wait. But you should consider the paid IVF. If you find money, we can start preparing for the procedure in a few days. I'm not ready to make that decision on my own. I need to consult my husband. All right. <clears throat> mm. Lady, what are you doing? Mm. What? Uh, let me help you. It's not that heavy. Give it to me, or you will strain yourself. I'm quite used to it. Let go and have a rest. I got this.
And this here. Well, all right. Thank you. Not at all. The thing is, I work as a driver in the next pavilion. Now, I'm always here every day. You can call me. What should I call you? <laughs> I'm Misha. Uh -huh. I'm Galia. Nice to meet Pleased you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Galia. So, Galia, why don't we go to a cafe tonight? Hmm? No, I can't go tonight. Why not? Well... <clears throat> Husband? Seven kids in the house? I don't have a husband. It's just... Uh... Oh, you're worried about that. It's not noticeable. Well, what do you say? Will you come? Well, uh, well... I really like you, Galia. I've been watching you. You're a nice girl. <laughs> There's no need to be afraid. I'm not one of those. No, I'm not worried. <laughs> well, what about the cafe? We could do that. See you in the evening, Galia. See you in the evening, Misha. Well, I'm officially married. But my wife left me for her classmate. <laughs> mm -hmm. She found him on the internet and remembered her first love. Well, and it all started. Mm -hmm. I thought she'd have some fun and come back. But they've been living together for a year. We didn't get divorced because of the apartment. Mm -hmm. And do you have children? I do. I've got a son, Dima. He's 12, and the reason we didn't split the apartment he lives with his mother, and I live alone. Uh, I'm single, too. But I have a daughter, Susha. She's 14. Mm -hmm. I have never been married. I tried to live with a man. It was bad. We tried for two years. He didn't work and drank a lot. I kicked him out. It's better to be alone. Mm. It must be hard without a man. It's not easier with a man. It depends on the man. Well, that's <laughs> right. That's true. You know, Galia, I'm not a prince and I'm not that good with words, but I've liked you for a long time. Perhaps we could live together, hmm? I'm not gonna hurt you or your daughter. I like work, I don't drink, and I don't fight. Well, what do you say? Let's drink. Let's drink. Hmm. Here you go, Lesha. I hope it'll be enough. Thank you, Pasha. You've helped us a lot. Of course, it's a holy cause, huh? Aren't we undermining your family budget? You have three kids. <laughs> no, you're not. That's our untouchable strategic reserve. You'll pay me back. Thank you, Pasha. <laughs> I'm so glad that you found a way. Maybe you'll have yourself twins, huh? or even <laughs> triplets, huh? Why not? It would be great, and it would be easier for Sonia. I'm worried, you know? Come on, don't be afraid. It's only scary at first. No, of course, there will be chaos, noise, and shouting. You really need to get ready for that stuff. You get used to it. Believe me, Lesha, it's such happiness to come home to your family. Pasha, between ourselves, I could do without children. Mm. We're used to it. I'm doing it for Sonia. You look so solemn today. You're not telling me why. The thing is that I've found the money to fulfill your desires. As soon as tomorrow, we can go to the clinic and start preparing for IVF. Lesha, oh. well, that was so fast. You're a real magician. How can I refuse the woman I love? Are you happy? 
very much. I promised I'd do it. <laughs> Lesha, listen. Mm -hmm. Look, what if we spend the money and nothing comes out of this? We'll have such a debt. <laughs> Why would nothing come of this? It'll work out. It works for other people. Don't worry about money. Let it be my problem. Well, why? I'll take some extra work, too. Some translations. I'm not going to leave you alone with such debt. Sonia, your main task now is to be calm and relaxed. And follow the doctor's orders. I'll earn the money we need. Let's drink to you know what. Here's to our future baby. Or babies, perhaps. <laughs> Doctor, am I all right? Don't worry, your samples are good. You've got good chances. <sighs> Thank God, you're taking a lot of notes. I'm writing down what you need to take to prepare your body for IVF. We are going to start with hormone therapy. Just don't skip it. <clears throat> it's very important. The results of the procedure depends on you following instructions. Of course. Of course, Svetlana Vladimirovna. <laughs> Lesha, I've got the results. They've told us to... to start preparing. Thank you for finding the money. I kiss you back. I love you too. Hello. 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 Is the boss in a good mood? The boss is not in a very good mood. You know what I'm saying, Sofia Igorevna? I don't remember your labor contract saying that you can come to work um, at noon. I'm sorry, Sergei Janadovich. I was at a clinic. I couldn't cancel. It was a matter of life and death. So solve your matters of life and death in your free time. Or hand in your resignation if you have health issues. I'm not going to pay you for your illness. Don't be late again. I didn't say I was ill. Don't take him seriously. He went completely mad recently. I'm in such a good mood that he failed to spot it. Well, all right. OK. I think we'll be walking with strollers together soon. <laughs> no doubt. I hope you give birth to Danya's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't watch you suffer so. Stop! Where are you going? Screw you! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Hands off! Get lost! Yeah. Come on! What are you doing, barbarians? Do you have any conscience? <laughs> no, screw you! Aren't you ashamed? You're a young girl. Have you heard this woman rock? <laughs> That's Susan's terrible. A what do your parents think? Whatever they want to. Sonia, don't mess with them. <laughs> Look what they're doing. Look, I'm going to call the police. <laughs> Go ahead and call yeah. them. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Susha, come on, run. <laughs> Stop it now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Stop, I said. Come on. Run. Yeah. Stop it. No. Right, keep Stop running. It, you come nasty on. girl. Go. I'm going to catch you. Do you hear me? Susha, you should join the skills competition. Come on, keep running! Stop it, I said! You're such a nasty girl! Oh, dear! Oh, Lord! Stop now, you! Come here! Uh, come here! Come here, I said! Give me the bag! Give me the bag! Give it to me right now! You're a stray cat! Here. We're up here. We're almost here. Hey, we'll help you. Come here on. you go. You got it. 
Come on, give us your hand. Okay, oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice job. You fools. Yeah, we sure showed you, didn't we? All right, come on, bye. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's go. That stupid girl stole my wallet. Can you imagine? Was there a lot of money? No, not much. But my heel broke. Oh, you should tell the police about her. What police? Where would they find them? There's no use. Yeah, kids are really terrible these days. God forbid you have that kind of daughter. It's better to have no daughter. <sighs> Lesha, when we have a baby, let's raise it to become a decent person, you know? Our baby will be decent. We'll take care of it. Don't think about that girl. Just let her parents worry about her. Yeah, I'd like to see her parents. I'd tell them everything. I wonder what keeps them so busy. The girl is completely lost. I thought I'd kill her there. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're alcoholics. Do you think that we're going to have a boy or a girl? A boy, I think. Timothy. And I want a girl, Masha. Uh-huh. <laughs> Perhaps we'll have twins. No. <laughs> it would be great. Sonia, I missed you so much. Slow down, Vlad. We'll do it tomorrow. Are y'all tripping? I'm heading out. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye, Susha. Bye. See you, Susha. Bye bye. Well, I'll go to you then. No, Susha, stay here. My mother's on my case about coming home. Susha, where are you going? What's there to do? We'll find something. <laughs> It must be hard to travel, to work this far. Not really. I go by subway and the train, and then four shuttle stops. I'm used to it. Hmm. Why don't you sell your house? Buy something closer. This isn't our house. We rent it. We have a house in the Belgorod region. That's where I'm from. Oh, uh, I understand. All right, lead me. Well, come in. Come in, come in. This is delicious. Mm. A nice home-cooked meal. Stay with us, and you'll always dine like this. Mm. Well, why not? Are you serious? We already know each other. You don't drink. You have not had a glass of champagne this whole evening. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is really important to me. And your eyes are kind. I can see that you're a good person. <laughs> I like that kind of man. <laughs> you know what? If the two of us together work out, I'll divorce my wife and we'll split our apartment. You can sell your flat in Belgorod. <laughs> we'll unite our forces. Buy something and uh, start living together. Pigs could fly with wings. I don't like looking too far ahead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you want to dance?
you about this, Galia. A flood? A fire? What is this? Susha, baby. Don't go over there. What? It's... it's your mom, hun. What about her? She's dead, sweetie. Her ex-boyfriend killed her. Mom! Susha. Mom! And you can't go there now. You can't. Let's go, all right? Let's go to my house. Let's go, dear. Come on, come on. You'll you'll sleep at my house. You can't go there now. Let's go. All right. All right, calm down. Let's go. Let's go, my dear. Oh, God. Dasha, can you help me out? Sure, tell me. I need to be in the clinic in the morning. I need to send the manuscript to typography at 9 a.m. I prepared everything. Can you give this to the courier? Of course I can do that. Give me your folder. Thank you. You'll help me a lot. You're welcome. All right, bye. Goodbye. How are you feeling, honey? Let's go outside. It'll Since the hormone food. therapy has been Let's successful, go. we can arrange the IVF procedure in two weeks. Really? So quickly? Yes, are you completely prepared? Doctor, what are the prospects? Well, no one can guarantee success, but I can assure you that your case is absolutely standard. We'll be hoping for a good result. You'll come back three days before the procedure, and we'll discuss the details. Goodbye for now. Thank you very much. All the best. Lesha, what if it doesn't work? Everything will be fine. Let's go and celebrate. I need to go to work. Oh, come on. Half an hour won't mean anything. We're celebrating having a baby. Our most hardworking employee has finally decided to show up for work today. So tell me, why do you even work here? Good morning, Sergei Janadovich. I'm sorry to be late. I prepared everything for the manuscript, and it was sent to the topography this morning by my request. I don't know whom you asked, but the manuscript wasn't sent to topography. We went into hock because of this. Are you serious? I'm sorry, I hoped for my colleague's help. Sergei Janadovich, I'm in a difficult situation. All right, listen carefully. I remind you that illness, divorces, depression, difficult situations and other things are none of my business. If they mean more to you than work, you're free to resign and occupy yourself with any of these issues that are not work-related and I'm not going to pay you for it. I understand. Dasha, I asked you for this. I forgot. I've got lots of my own work. Why do I have to answer for you? I didn't expect you'd let me down. I don't have to answer for your skipped work. Lesha, Dasha was supposed to help me, but she let me down instead. The boss raised a stink and hinted that I should resign. Not even hinted. He said it to me directly. Why are you worried? This is a sign. Resign. Don't even think. What would I do without work? We have so much debt. Sonia, what work? You've got a complex operation ahead. You need to think about yourself, not to waste your nerves on some idiots. That's enough. You're going to sit at home and prepare for the baby's birth. 
Yes, thank you, Lesha. You're the best. Bye now. Bye, hun. <laughs> Oh, God, this is not a cake. It's truly a work of art. Just look at it. Sonia, you've always been an amazing mistress, but this is just fantastic. It took me five hours to cook it. I hope that it's worth it. What? And that what? it tastes as good as it looks. Sonia, you're a heroic woman. Thanks. Can we taste it? I'll serve it out. Thank you. So I'm a housewife without a job now. Mm -hmm. And I study cuisines around the world. It's so <sighs> interesting to explore. Yeah, but if you keep cooking such amounts of food, by the time the baby's born, we'll be severely obese. <laughs> Lesha, I promise you, I'll study diet meals, specifically for your health. <laughs> all right, good. We're just so happy for you. We've been just as worried as you during all these years. Sonia, I hope everything goes great and a wonderful baby will be born soon, or even two babies. Mm -hmm, or even three or four babies. <laughs> oh. It doesn't matter. We'll love all our children. <laughs> oh, we weren't expecting anyone. Perhaps it's a stork with a surprise, hmm? And the nib. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who it could be. Yes, hello? Good evening. Could you tell me if Alexei Chernovsky lives here? Yes, hold on a second. Lesha, mm -hmm. it's for you. Mm hmm Good afternoon. And so are you Alexei Chernovsky? Yes, who are you? I work for Children's Services. Here's my ID. Mm-hmm. I came over here today to talk to you about your daughter. I need to inform you that your name and date of birth were in the death note of a woman who was killed in a violent domestic crime. The daughter became an orphan after the woman's death. The girl is in an orphanage. But if the relatives won't take her, she's going to stay there. Do you understand? I understand, but who is this woman and her daughter? Maybe it's a mistake. Uh, excuse me, could you do this quicker? We have some guests and we don't want to keep them waiting. I understand. Here's what happened. The woman who was murdered, Galina Danilenko, has a daughter named Susha. After the woman's death, a letter was found. The letter says that you are Susha's father, Alexei Chernovsky. That is you, right? This must be a mistake. Hold on, what was her name again? Her name is Galina Danilenko. Uh, what makes you think that I'm the father of the daughter? The mother wrote about it to her daughter before her death. Unfortunately, I am afraid we have no other grounds to address you besides this letter. It's all we have. Please tell me, if you can, did you know her? But listen, no. <laughs> People write a lot of things in letters. This is not good proof, right? No, Lesha, you need to answer. Did you know this, Galina? Sonia, hold on. Let's deal with the letter first. By the way, where is it? It's at the police station. We haven't even shown it to Susha. We decided to make sure that the letter tells the truth about you. Judging by your reaction, I'd say that you knew the victim. Lesha, did you know her? What, what does it matter if I... If I... Knew someone in the past. All right, let's talk later. Can you tell me how to find you? I'll come to you and we'll deal with this issue. I have nothing to do with that girl, okay? Here is my business card. Oh, thank you. Come any day that's convenient. Mm -hmm. And sorry for bothering you. All the best to you. Lesha, what was that? I don't know. We'll need to deal with it. Who's that Galena? Why were you hiding it? Hey guys, what's going on? Who is that lady? It turns out Lesha has a daughter. On the side, as a secret. Sonia. Sonia, open up please, Sonia. Let's talk about this. Sonia, at that time we were having problems. We argued a lot. I used to leave early and come home late and hear your rebukes. Once I went to buy some fruits to cheer you up. And she was behind the table. 
She was joking and smiling, and I needed it so badly back then. I got acquainted with her. And once I stayed for the night. There was no love, Sonia. It was just to relax. You've always been the only one I need. It was just a stupid screw-up. It was a stupid thing to have done. You had a child with the screw-up. I can't forgive you. Sonia, this is not my daughter. Sonia, what can I do now? Do you want me to take a test? Perhaps this will assure you. What if I had an affair? Everyone does it. Sonia, can't you, can't you just forget about it? It was so long ago. I'll make the bed. No. You know, I always thought he was a perfect man. Sonia, you know there are no perfect men. I'm going to be honest with you. Lesha is a good husband. And he'll make a good father. To whom? You mean to this girl? She's 14 years old. That is, he met that woman 15 years ago. At that time, I was dying after my abortion. Hush. I'm sorry. And he made me do it. Do you understand the extent of his meanness? Oh, Sonia, come on, it was 15 years ago. You were totally different people back then. You had problems. But even if he dated that woman, so what if that girl is his daughter? Stop protecting him. He deprived me of the ability to have children, and yet he made a baby on the side. Hello. How are you? This is Alexei Chernavsky. You came to see me about the girl, Susha Danilenko, right? I'd like to take a paternity test as soon as possible. What do I need for that? Mm hmm. Is it done? Yes, you're free to go. Oh, thank you. You can come and get the result next week. I know what the result will be. All the best. Susha, hello. Sit down, have a seat. Hello. I've got news for you. After your mother's death, we found a letter. We didn't tell you straight away. We had to verify some information. Here you go. Read it. What, Father? I don't know this name. I've never heard it before. I've met this man in person. We're not absolutely certain, but it's highly possible that he is your father. It is unlikely that your mother lied to you. Moreover, it's fairly easy to verify these things. What do you want from me? I really think that you need to meet him. He might want to participate in your life somehow. 
Why would he? I don't need him. I didn't know him before, and I don't want to now. Listen to me. If we are able to prove that he's your biological father, he may want to adopt you for real. What for? It's better to live with a family than in an orphanage. He's a decent man, and his wife is very pleasant. You're gonna like them. Screw them! Can I keep the letter? Yes, of course. But you should at least meet him. Aren't you even curious? No, I'm not curious. Sonia, I don't feel right without you. I can't sleep and I can't work. Please come back home. We can try to work things out. After what's happened, I can't be with you anymore. I've said I'm guilty. I've asked for forgiveness a thousand times, yet you won't forgive me? I can't. Sonia, please, Sonia. We're... We're all people and do stupid things. Do we have to destroy everything because of this? We're a family, Sonia, and we love each other. We're going to have a baby soon. Are you going to deprive us of all this? Believe me, you're not even going to think about this when the baby is born. We'll all be laughing about it together. Well, you know what I mean. Please think about it. I already have. This is goodbye. Sonia. Oh, Sonia, Sonia. I do, Anya. Sonia. Don't rush things now. Everything will pass, and you'll forget it. Just have some patience. I know it's hard, but you have to forgive him. Go back to him eventually. You need your family. Find it in your heart to forgive him. <laughs> yeah. 
And sign here, please, to certify that you've taken the results. Here you go. I can't understand it. Can you explain it to me? Of course. The probability of 99.9% .9 most likely means that you are the biological father of this child. Congratulations. very much once again. I'm so sorry for bothering you both. We're so dear to each other. How's the situation? No, well, how's the situation? It's a total mess. There are bottles, dirt. This is terrible. Leshen never allowed this to... to be his life. I told you he was suffering. Be gentle with him, all right? Leave your problems in the past. Yes, I'll try to do that. I have to recover life somehow. I knew you were a wise woman. <sighs> thank you. Anya, thank you once again. So long. Oh, oh, oh. quickly. Susha's finishing her dinner. Will you wait? Yes, of course. Thank you.
You wanted to see me? I'm Senya Danilenko. Hello there. Hello. Who are you? Me? I'm, I'm your father. Well, what do you want from me? Actually, I'm not sure what I want, but I wanted to meet you. You've met me now. Goodbye. Susha, hold on, please. Susha. Let's have a talk. Well? Huh. I never thought I'd be meeting my own child like this. I'm not a child. Well, I mean, you are my own child, although it's all very strange. I'm not your child. You're no one to me. And even if you're my father, I don't care about you. And cut this crap with babies and daughters. It makes me sick. All right, I'll cut it out. You look so much like your mother. I don't look like you. I understand that you're getting tough with me because I'm a complete stranger to you. That I haven't been a part of your life. But I won't inflict my company, it would be stupid. You bet. You had fun with my mother and sneaked away. You show up and I'm supposed to love you? I'm not asking you to love me. I don't deserve it. Susha, I really didn't know that your mother was pregnant. So, what if you knew? You'd have come and married her? Well, no, of course not. I was married. At the time, and still am. And I love my wife. Go to your wife, then. And keep away from me. Susha, hold on a sec, please. Hold on, please. I want to help you. Perhaps you need something, money or... Some things I don't... Susha, do you have any plans? Orphanage is my plan. Like any orphan. Get it? Well, I... Tell me, do you like it here at least? Are they decent? It's okay. I've been dreaming of it, honestly, my whole entire life. All right, I get it, I get it. Let's do it the following way. I'll give you my mobile phone number. Call me if you need anything, anything at all, Susha. And here's some, here's some cash for you. Take it if you need it. You can eat your cash. Do you think I'm going to call you? I've lived without you before, and I will now, and you'll be happier if I die. Why are you saying that? I was just trying to establish a contact. Don't bother, Daddy. I'm gone. You don't have a daughter, and you can forget that you even came here. Consider me dead as well. felt like a real bastard posh. She was sitting there, so young and so unhappy. And I saw her for the first time. I hoped at least we could connect. And then she walked away. I nearly cried with pity. Lesha, I don't even know what to say. There's no point in giving advice in this case. You know, I can't imagine it even in a bad dream that any of my boys would live in an orphanage. I don't know what to do. She's a strange person, a totally strange person. She's little and bitter. She looks at me like a wolf. What did you want? To fall upon your neck straight away. Gosha, stand in the goal. Sereza, you're kicking. You understand? I'm afraid to take her home, but I don't want to leave her either. Yeah, you're screwed. Have you talked to Sonia yet? Yes, there's no use. She's tough. Our life is coming unraveled. Sonia wants a divorce and my daughter's an orphan. I don't know how to fix this. I don't know. But if I were you, I would try to save everything as much as I can. Well, I should get Sonia back first. Yes, of course. But I also cannot leave Susha there, you know? Don't leave her there. I think Sonia will support you regardless of your decision. Thank you.
Natasha. Sonia, my dear. I had no idea, and Pasha didn't tell me. Did you decide to surprise me? <laughs> Do I smell a pear pie? It's my favorite. I missed you so much. I won't let you go again. Let's try to forget all of this. I can't live without you. I'm so guilty. I've hurt you so much. Thanks for finding the strength to forgive me. It'll all work out. Why aren't you eating? I have to tell you something. I have to say it now. In short, I... I took a test. And that girl, Susha... She's my daughter. I really hope that you will understand and accept this fact. I know there's no way to ignore it. Unfortunately, Sonia, it doesn't actually change anything. Anyway, I'm going to help this girl, but we're strangers and there's nothing we have in common. You and our future child matter the most to me, and I would have done things differently if I could have. It would have taken measures. I'm, I'm really sorry. What measures? Make her have an abortion like you did to me back then? Sonia, I need to talk to you. No, don't start with me. I'm sick of listening to your... your stories about your cheating. We're having IVF in three days, and I need to prepare for that. I really don't want to hear about your daughter now. Listen to me, please. This concerns you, too. How does it concern me? Oh, Sonia. I visited Susha. I actually met her. And then I spent all night thinking. She needs a home. She needs a family to live with. I can't just leave her there in the orphanage. As a decent man, I'm bound to take her. Where to? To our house, you mean? Yes, to our house. And as a woman, you have to understand me. Why so? She's not a toddler. She's a teenager. She's a grown person. Do you know what they're like? I've met one recently. A really bad girl. A reckless thief. And the worst part is you can't fix her. You have to understand me. Why would I want her in my house if I'm trying to have my own? And there's another thing. I don't think we can afford the IVF with this situation. What? Well... Susha needs clothes, proper care, and also a good school. Since I'm the only one working now, we won't be able to afford IVF. But Lesha, you insisted that I should resign. Yes, I did. But I wasn't planning on taking Susha. I planned another life for us, but the circumstances have changed. She's an orphan. She has no one. 
I can't live recklessly knowing that my own daughter is at an orphanage. I feel so guilty about her. And what about me? Well, but you are a grown woman. You have to understand. We can't afford IVF right now. You've betrayed me, Lesha. Once again. And I trusted you. Don't you want to live? Are you all right? Are you sure? Get in the car. Come on, get in the car, please. Take care. Watch your head. Hold on! Here you go. I don't drink. Drink it, please. I don't drink either. This is a vitamin tea with briar and lemon. I make it all from scratch. Thank you, sir. I recognized you. Have we met? No. Strictly speaking, we ran into each other near the clinic once, and you were... You were very upset on that day. I remember. Thank you for listening to me. Well, I can listen. What happened to you this time? What? This time? Do you think something happened? You know, happy people don't jump under cars like that. Right. It wouldn't be right to call me happy. Although I thought it was possible at some point. Well, since we just met again, let's get acquainted. My name is Constantine. Call me Kostya. Sonia. All right, what happened? It's a very long story. That's all right, I have time. Everything is wrong, and I... I don't know how to go on. Mm-hmm. Everything was very bad the previous time. I take it has become even worse? My husband... and I attempted to have a baby. I used therapy, but nothing helped. We decided to try IVF. Mm -hmm. We found the money. It was to begin in three days. So what happened? My husband had betrayed me. It turned out that he had a daughter on the side. And he's spending that money on her to take her to our house. IVF was my last hope. And his sense of guilt woke up suddenly. He has a little girl in the orphanage. He doesn't care about me. It's a complicated story. Because on the one hand, taking a child from an orphanage is a decent act. But I understand you. Right. I just wanted to be happy. I wanted to have a baby. Yeah. I really want to help you very much. But how? I wasn't asking. I just told you. I got it. I got it. I understand. I'm not letting you... I am not letting you out in this condition. And so, 
Tell me the address where I can take you. Hello, Susha. You sit. Let's go home. Come on. What if I don't like your home? You'll have a look yourself. And think it over. If you don't like it, you'll come back. I've only registered custody. And I will do everything to help you like it. I hope we'll become a family. And then perhaps we could think about adoption. All right. But I don't want to go straight home. Where should we stop? Ah. To the cinema, to a cafe, right? Both cinema and cafe. But first, let's go shopping. You're kind to of my father. Well, yes. So fulfill your parental duties. Let's go already. Where are you going, Sonia? I'm leaving you, Lesha. I should have done it long ago. Sonia, I believed I'm in some you, kind of miracle, go. but they don't have Change your mind, come on. I won't be able to live without you. You've got another family now. This is her, my daughter, by the way. Oh God, it's your daughter. Well, yes. Oh God, it's your wife. Can you ask your daughter to be more polite? Well. I think she's just lost. She's lost? It's nonsense. Oh, God, this is a nightmare. I don't understand. Have you met before? Yes, she's the one who stole my wallet. How? Is that the truth? Yes, it is. It's just impossible. I can't believe this. Don't you like me? Tell me, what do you think? Hold on, girls, wait. Sonia, you're wise. 
Don't respond like this, please. She's still a child. A child? Do you know how this child swears? Nope, stop. Let's forget about the past, okay? Or try to become a family. Perhaps you'll find a way to be friends. No, I'm not going to forget anything. And I won't be friends with her. I'm leaving you, Lesha. Sonia. Then go, then. We'll have more space. Susha. What? What did you say? Sonia. Who is going to leave? Me? I'm not going anywhere. This is my flat. Do you understand what I'm saying? Lesha, in the near future, you're going to have to find a place to live with your dear daughter. Let's go. Let's go home, Susha. I'm heating soup and cutlets. Let's have a dinner together. All right, I'm keeping the bedroom. Your daughter sleeps here in the living room, and you get the folding bed. But Sonia... Sonia what? We're roommates now. What did you think when you were planning all this? Sonia, hold on. Let's not do this now. I understand you need time to get used to it, to learn to live together somehow. I don't need this. I'm not going to live with you. Sonia. Are you finished? Susha, don't do that. It's difficult for her. She was making her own plans and then a teenage girl appeared. I didn't ask to be taken. Bring me back if you don't like me. Susha, this is not what I mean. We need to try to behave like grown-ups. Do you understand? Yes, we'll have to change. And don't be rude to Sonia, please. She doesn't deserve it. I should have stayed in the orphanage. No one gives orders there. And there are no dodgy fathers with crazy wives. Susha, no, 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 Susha, come on. Can I come in? Yes. Sonia, I want to talk to you, like a calm and kind person. I know how you can love and forgive. Everything ends at some point. Sonia, forgive me. Forgive me once again. Please, you have to understand. This girl and I are complete strangers. But she still is my daughter. This is my sin and I have to bear it. But I can't stand to lose you. You've already lost me. I don't believe you. If there is no trust, there is no love. But this is unfair. Sonia, please give me one more chance. Please accept this girl. Just try. Let me do something good for her. We'll definitely do IVF, but later. Please give it a chance. Too late. I can't live like this. And I don't want to because she is your child, not mine. I respect your decision, I do. Fulfill your duty and raise the girl. But don't count on me. Sonia, you're literally killing me. Sonia, please don't leave me. I won't be able to live without you. My life is falling apart, but I'm making it somehow. I'm sure you'll make it too. I hope you and your daughter will be okay. <laughs>